Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mr. Ops, and welcome back to the Sim City and welcome back to Norwich Hill. So, since the last episode, huge, huge changes have happened to this city. I've put in quite a few hours of time into this city and I want to show off everything. So basically, last episode we had a functional trading city which really wasn't doing much. I think I was only just selling oil at the time. I hadn't moved on to selling raw ore or even coal yet. Well, I've kind of gone past that. Yeah, I've been selling ore, I've been sell selling coal, I've been selling raw ore as well, but I've also gone a little bit further than that. <laughs> I'm producing plastic, I'm producing fuel, I'm selling that. I'm producing metal, I'm producing alloys, I'm selling that. I'm producing processors and I'm selling that as well. So basically I've done quite a lot. I've got my trading HQ up there. I'm making 840,000, 842,000 dollar runies per day. Um, how's my process? Well, my electronics HQ is doing well. I'm making 606,000 dollars per day. I need to get that to 1.5 mil profit so we can upgrade that and start building some TVs and computers. And now I've got my refinery over there. I actually had a problem with that. That petroleum HQ there. I actually had the petroleum HQ down there. I put on the uh, refinery section onto it, but there's a little bit of a bug where it wouldn't approve for me to be able to build one of these motherfuckers over here. For some reason, it just would not work. So I had to delete that and spend another $400,000 over there, but I got that. But really, right now, I'm just swimming in money. Really, I am. I've got $1.1 million right now. I had about $5 million a little while ago, but I've been spending the money. I've just been splashing it everywhere. I've got money to blow. Um, I've actually made hugely and bounds on the journey to the moon because my great works has started to be built i've already spent the one million the space center construction is underway i've already i'm starting to send fuel already so that's good i've got my alloys and computers here i need to focus on building computers at the moment that's why i'm trying to get 1.5 million profit per day for my electronics division then i can start building tvs and computers and get that stuff done and alloys is going to be last uh fuel is going to take a while though i am sending quite a lot over there because i've got my trade port here and, um, ooh, I've actually got 4,000 plastics right there. Hmm, that should be getting to the processor factory. Let's see how they're doing. Okay, they got ample supply. How about them? They got ample supply as well. So I'm thinking about actually putting in another processor factory and another smelting factory because I run out of uh, alloys quite quickly. And later on, we're gonna like we're gonna have to produce a shit ton of alloys. Like this is the thing. By the time I've probably got 1.5 million daily profit. I will probably have finished my task of sending fuel over because I'm set. How much am I producing? I'm producing 2,000 bar barrels of fuel per day, which isn't too shabby. And I need a total of 170,000. So that's going to take a while, but probably around about the time I've got to the stage where I'm producing computers and stuff, that will probably be complete. And I'm going to do the majority of that off camera, but I need to get my daily profit from the electronics HQ up. Let's fast forward this and let's see how we're doing down here. So basically all I've been doing the past few hours is just building a few buildings, making the money and really just watching my population and my uh, traffic on the road. That's really what I've been just trying to prove on. Like I'm thinking about investing, maybe putting six lane streets all over the place because because the four lane streets really do get quite packed up here it really is jammed while as down here is quite smooth and that so i'm thinking about investing and maybe improving the road layout of this city and also as well as you can see my garbage dump right here is full i've also got a garbage dump up here which is full as well i'm actually trying to get the achievement um dump city call me sad but i want to get it i want to complete every achievement in this game we're gonna put that there there's no room to fucking expand over there which is kind of annoying but yeah i'm trying to get that <laughs> um hmm, what can we do with the road layout here i'm tempted to I don't know, I'm tempted to delete the police station here and maybe make a six lane street going all the way out to the clinic. That might make things go a little bit smoother because really right now I'm just trying to get my trucks in so I sell stuff. Let's see how much I'm selling per day. I'm selling a lot of raw ore at the moment, I'm selling metal at a good price as well. My processors just fly out the door. I think I've actually got quite a lot stored. How, how much have I got here? And look, I'm actually making 607k a day from processors. I've got 2,000 just sitting there. How many? I've got, mm, they've already sold, they were four seconds ago. Um, oh, okay, I've got quite a lot of space for processors at the moment. I need to produce them a little bit quicker, but they're selling like hotcakes. We need to get that up, though. We need to get 1.5 million. That's not going to be too hard. I think I might put in another processor factory and a smelting factory so we get the alloys needed. Like, we're producing enough plastic at the moment to meet the demand, but the alloys isn't producing enough. So I think what we're going to do... Oh, what's wrong down here? What's wrong? What's wrong? What, what is wrong? What is wrong with you? You're out of resources. 
What's wrong? Okay, you've got plenty of resources. Okay, you need alloys. Yeah, so we're going to put in another smelting division. So we don't need oil refinery. We need to produce some more alloys. Where can we put this? Where can we put this? i kind of running out of space. I made some really retarded decisions uh, with the actual layout here. But where should I put this? Um, I don't know if I'm going to put it there. I don't know if I can fit it there. Um, hmm. Yeah, I could put it there, but I have to get rid of all those people. I don't want to kill the people. Okay, we're going to kill the people. Fuck the people. We're going to delete this road here. We don't give a shit about that. Uh, we've got some banned buildings creeping up. Uh, let's put this down eh, here. Voila. Okay, let's expand this as well. We're going to need some alloys producing at a fast rate. So we just want to produce alloys at the R. So we're going to build that to max level sweet okay we're losing 12 grand per day we've got 12 percent tax right now i've actually paid off all my bonds which is pretty fucking sweet um hmm okay you're still out of resources okay you've got your resources now what about you okay you're about to run out so um <laughs> oh wait what's wrong with this guy up here what's he missing what's he missing okay he needs uh raw ore and coal okay i gotta stop selling my raw ore and coal because i've been selling those uh, the past few days so we're gonna use where is my coal oh that's my raw ore we're gonna use that locally and we're gonna use the coal locally as well okay sweet that should sort that out okay we're producing 24 tons per day 48 tons from that motherfucker there sweet okay stuff is should get moving right now oh we need some employees we might zone off some more uh, residential because we had to delete some people we'll zone off you there uh abandoned buildings what happened to you building fire <laughs> i've still only got i think yeah that one little fire station in the whole city two fire trucks against the world uh, where's the other abandoned building? There you are, good sir. Okay, um, yeah, the traffic levels are really starting to build up down here. Hmm, I'm tempted, yeah, as I said, to leap this road up here and try and make a six-lane street going all the way up here, but it wouldn't really make much difference because up here it gets really packed because there's a lot of business going on up here. I don't think there's anything I could do about it. We might experiment in a minute. Um, oh, my clinic is full. <laughs> I've got 12 deaths per day. And really because of the huge levels of radiation poisoning, um, <laughs> there's a lot of sick people in my city, as you can see. Uh, 29 crimes committed per day. Because there is a huge population of poor people, they turn to life of crime. Stereotyping at its finest. But fuck it, I'm not going to waste money on another police station. Let them kill each other. Uh, we're going to put in another patient's room, though, if we can. No, we can't. Yes, we can. Sweet. We've only got seven deaths per day. That's not too shabby, but, yeah, we need to improve this layout because it just sucks down here. Oh, we're making some money. We're making some money. What's that looking like, like right now? Oh, we're losing money. We are making 600. I'm making 500 now. Oh, good. Well, I think we might put in another processor factory because I think we've got ample supply of resources right now. Uh, how's that doing? Yes, we do. Okay. Okay, sweet. What we're going to do now is we're going to build ourselves another process of factory. Uh, where can we put it? Where can we put it? Uh, we can put it down here. Yeah, we're going to put it down here. Sweet. We're going to expand it like so. We'll go all out with the upgrades and things. So we'll put that there. Sweet. Okay, that should hopefully put us up to around about, if we're lucky and it's efficient, probably around about 800,000 daily profit from that. Maybe even a little bit more. Um, the, the the traffic levels are really starting to build up down here because a lot of people are coming in from the region for jobs and that. I don't really know why. Um, oh, our population has spread up to 30,000 though. That's kind of worrying. I might have to lose around about 5,000 population. Um, sewage, backed up pipes, uh, seven deaths per day, not too shabby. <laughs> I still want to sort out that road down here. What can we do with you? See, like, this is the thing. There are peak times. Uh, there are peak times when this road will be full, then the next minute it's just fucking empty. So I don't know if there is anything I can do about it. Because look, right now it's quite empty, really, when you think about that. And that's starting to produce right now. Sweet. Uh, will we need to expand our trade depots? I don't think we do. Oh, I didn't mean to click on you. Uh, we've already got 2,000 processors there that haven't sold. What about down here? Okay, we've got space up here for processors. Sweet. Have we got that export in? It better be exporting. Yes, it is. Okay. We're using the alloys locally. Good. And we're selling the metal. Okay, sweet. Okay, that is burning like a motherfucker. Sweet. We're getting some good alloys out of that. Um, oh, what's the power situation looking like? Power unplugged. What? What, what, what is wrong with the power? <laughs> what? 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 Why isn't power getting to you? What's wrong? Is it because it can't go that far? Is there not enough excess to actually reach down there? Hmm. 
Okay, I think I might actually have to upgrade my power plant anyway, so uh, let's put another turbine, whatever you call it, on there, a generator suite. We're losing 15,000 per day, so we're going to put the taxes up a little bit. <laughs> but we are making ample profit, so it's not too shabby. It's not all doom and gloom. Um, good fuel is getting to the space center. That should be getting fuel right now. Uh, we're actually selling the raw ore and the crude oil still. Yeah, we're making 120k in crude oil still, and we're making 136 from raw ore. That's not too shabby. Uh, we're using the coal, uh, we're using all the coal at the smelting factories, which isn't too shabby. I don't think there's a build-up of coal anywhere. The coal train, baby! Yeah, I don't think there is a build-up, so that's good. What are you looking like? Okay, we've got a nice little build-up for plastic. That's going to be ample supply for our processors and stuff like that. The alloys seem to be in a nice state at the moment. Ooh, production has stopped. What is wrong with the power? Your power plant is disconnected from consumers. Check your road and... Oh, there might be some gaps building up. Okay, no, that's getting to you right now. <laughs> I think it's just got to wait till it gets to everyone. That's probably it. Uh, water shortage. Okay, oh yeah, probably because we put that factory and we're going to have to expand our water supply at the moment. I don't think we're going to have to fit that in there. Oh wait, we might be able to. Sweet. Okay. Let's save that situation. Uh, what? 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 Oh, you fucking serious? No, no, please. Don't you dare. Don't you dare touch the trade depot. Please. Please, Godzilla. Whatever, you want me whatever you're meant to be, don't hurt me. What is he doing? I think he's stuck on the mountain. Is he done already? Oh, thank God. Please say you're done. Please say you're done. Oh, God. That was so anticlimactic. But, um, oh, no, no, no. Oh, you motherfucker. He's eating my garbage. Did I say you could eat my garbage? Oh my god, he- oh my god, 18 abandoned buildings. What has he been doing? No, no, <laughs> I didn't want this to happen. Uh, where am I- but why is everyone abandoning buildings? Building fire, for sale, for sale, for sale. Um, are, are you gonna leave me alone? I, I, I'm looking at you, boy. I'm, I'm looking at you. I see you there, boy. Go on, piss off. Get out, leave my city alone. Leave me alone. Alright, let's fast forward this so he goes away. I think that's his- a reign of Terragon, yes. The mutant lizard is gone, nice. Um, yes, disaster. Couldn't find any shops or parts, so we might have to install some of those. Um, what is wrong with you guys for sale? Oh shit, no one wanted to buy these crappy houses. Well, I really want to live... I wouldn't want to live in this city either. It's fucking crap. <laughs> uh, we'll get rid of you. Um, where's the other abandoned buildings? What happened to you guys? Building fire, too many deaths, too much crime, no water. What's wrong with you, good sir? Too much crime. Well, uh, we might have to try to lower. I might have to really adding more of a police presence because it pretty sucks. <laughs> um, oh, what happened to you? Building fire. Okay, we might have to upgrade our... Uh, What's it called? Our fire station. Because it's pretty fucking crap. <laughs> so we're going to put you in there, boy. Well, that's the thing. We only have four out of five fires per day. So we only have five fires per day. That's not too shabby for a poor city where everyone's fucking batshit retarded. Um, I don't even think I had to do that. So um, we still got seven deaths per day. Not too shabby. Ooh, the crime's gone up. Uh, what is wrong with you? We're going to add in more police cars. So we have more police presence and we'll put in some jail cells, why not? But I want to be careful, I don't want to be spending too much money in deficit. I know I'm making good money at the moment, but I could suddenly go down. And yeah, <laughs> things are going well up here. The traffic is kind of annoying, but I guess it's unavoidable when you have to put your whole business sector in one place. People have to go to work, so that's where they have to go. So really what I'm tempted to do is just improve the road layout and that's around about it. How are you doing, okay? Um, the process is doing well. Has my profit gone up? No, it hasn't. I think it's gone down even more. Fuck! Now, I think it will at the end of the day once we actually start selling some crap. But mainly because I think we're starting to get a um, traffic problem. Like, uh, the trucks aren't coming in fast enough. So, let's have a look at our trade map. How are you doing? Okay, there comes a processor truck coming to spend some money. Um, is that another processor truck? Yes, that is. Sweet. Okay, should we make? we should get good money out of that at the moment, which is nice. Um, there is stuff moving around the city which is good. I love this though. One thing I like about this game is I love the maps and that this looks really efficient that you can really see what's going on. Things seem to move around the city well and... Ooh, what's going on around there? Okay, sweet, okay. Um, go away. Frack City is trying to fuck me over. <laughs> 
Really all I got to do at the moment is set my sights on getting 1.5 million daily profit. I'm getting a good daily profit at the moment, but we need to get that further up. And we actually lost some money this month, probably because of the rising traffic level. So what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to improve the road route. Or I say improve, I'm going to experiment with trial and error and try and sort it out. But next episode, hopefully, I should be on computers by then. So yeah, I'm just going to leave the episode off here. I've been Mr. Teacup, so if you break, come subscribe. See you next time.